So welcome to the second web server tutorial on Windows. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be installing PHP onto our server. So PHP is basically a server-side language that allows us to, uh, it's like a programming language that works on the server. So it allows you to, to create dynamic content. Um, so with PHP you can install programs like WordPress or Joomla or uh, what else is there? PHP BB. Uh, there's loads of uh, open source software that you can actually install that runs on PHP. Um, so to install PHP, what we need to do is just open Chrome or whatever browser and we're going to type in PHP Windows. Just do a Google search for that, my internet's being slow today. Okay, so just first link, windows.php.net, put a link in the description. Um, so if we scroll down here, Go to, actually go to downloads um, and then you want the like the highest up actual installer so the highest installer is 5.3 because we don't want these beta versions because they often come with security flaws and stuff like that so we want the highest installer which is at the moment 5.3 so just download it and let that download Mindset's being really slow today, so I'll have to fast forward this. Okay, so now that that's downloaded, we can just simply run it. It's just a normal installer. So it's pretty much going to be a case of going next, 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 next. Let's wait for that to load. We can close Chrome now. Minimize this. Okay, so this is the installer. Just press next. Um, terms conditions. Just you need to accept that. Go next. Um, I'm just going to leave it as the program files directory. Okay, so once you've done that, it will come up saying select the web server you wish to set up. IIS, fast CGI, other CGI, do not set up a web server. Now, we're going to be using IIS, fast CGI, since we're using the Internet Information Service. Press next. Um, for this bit, we're going to go on script executable and go entire feature. And this will install all of our features and everything. So press next. And we can just install. So just wait for this to install and I'll fast forward this again. Okay, so now that PHP is installed, we can just press finish. And there's nothing else we need to do in our web server here. We can just close that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a test PHP file. So just open Windows Explorer and go into computer and then go into your uh, C drive. So in, case, in my case, this is the SSD. And in here we've got uh, inet pub. This is a new create a new folder created by IAS. Open it up, and here we're going to go into www root, and this is where your website is going to be stored. So what I'm going to do is just simply open up Notepad. By the way, this is a, I only installed this version of Windows today since I've got a new SSD, so that's why I've got no files on or anything, um, or no programs. So in here, what we're going to do is create a simple PHP. Uh, file and we're just going to say php info Now if you don't know php don't worry. This is just really simple. We're going to display php info if If php works basically so if php doesn't work It will just error out on us and tell us that php has been stored and doesn't know what to do this So we can just save this Now the problem we have What I was having earlier Is that if I try and save this let's say test.php must remember that extension if I save it here uh, it's asking me if I would like to save it in my home folder rather and if I press no it won't let me save it so I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now and we'll transfer it over so just save that there and we can close this and we can then just drag this test.php straight over into here press continue and we're done so now if we open up Chrome again we can go localhost forward slash test.php and fingers crossed this will work and there you go uh, PHP is now installed and we can see it's all working because we've got uh, this it's returned our PHP info so that's PHP in the next tutorial we'll be installing MySQL so that we can manage databases uh, on this server so thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial